What's up guys? Welcome back to Goddess Just TV. It's your girl Nautica and I am back here with another video. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you feel in this channel. And if you aren't new and you are a returning listener and watcher, I am glad to have you back. So woo child. Woo woo child. Okay, today I'm just going to go on a little bit of a rant. I know I always say this but this is going to be really short um but i saw something last night that was super disturbing very very disturbing um there's a video that has gone viral from trouble which is a rapper trouble had a um a pool party in atlanta last night i believe and a video went viral and as you all know well i won't say he did but trouble is going viral right now or has been in conversation right now around the cucumber challenge <laughs> oh lord lord oh my goodness i can't i cannot so trouble has been going viral recent recently and many other women who have followed behind him with the cucumber challenge now the cucumber challenge i want to add is not new at all i'm going to insert a clip of a video that I got from like four years ago on YouTube. This club was doing a cucumber challenge. Actually, I remember the cucumber people sucking on cucumbers and stuff like that before this particular year and moment. But it has recently resurged in its vir viralness. I guess that's I guess that's a word you could say. Um, but it has recently been um, resurfacing as a viral challenge and because of a song that trouble did with city girls da, 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 da. anyway that part is so not important um but it does it is going to be something that i circle back to but the point i'm trying to make is there was a video that went viral last night of from his live that he went live during the party and you know girls they were doing the challenge i guess they do it for money i don't even know why they do it at these parties i guess it's for money or clout or something like that i don't know um but he was inciting a challenge at his party and there was girls you know doing their thing so i'm gonna cucumber doing them which i personally is like do what you do that's your life you know i find it disgusting as fuck but it's whatever but anyway you got the girls sucking on the cucumber all that all of that crazy shit and then you have it go from that it went from zero to 100 real fast when alexis sky legitimately was putting this cucumber in this girl's area and when i say area her vaginal area she was inserting the cucumber into the girl's vagina can i say vagina is vagina bad i don't know but that's what she was putting it and i liked to throw up i liked to throw up when i saw that i was really really taken aback by that like what the hell what the actual hell like, it was so crazy to me to see that and not only that but i saw you know, a lot of influencers in that same moment in that video watching this happen and no one no one said anything about it no one said anything about it a lot of the influencers that i saw obviously i've seen are on board with this challenge are on board with everything that this is going on right now so that is what it is you know you have your choices to live your life how you want to i cannot tell you what to do but that shit ain't right um and i saw opera v if anybody know watch love and hip hop atlanta she just recently hit the scene on atlanta um <laughs> yeah Alexis sky you had Lucci out there you had boosie out there so many different influencers out there and that's my issue at you guys are influencers and so you know what influence do you have on children and young folks coming up in the world that are on social media because so, so social media right now is that is their life they grow up with that that is what they grew up with a lot of us didn't grow up with technology the way it is today and so a lot of our mistakes and mess ups and fuck ups won't be you know virally shared however now 
They will. If you are a young person and very impressionable and you see this challenge, I urge you to really think this through. Really think about what it would do to your life to have people looking at you on camera for the rest of your life. Because it doesn't go away. To see people, you know, to see to have people see you, you know, gulping down on a cucumber. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right at all. And it was disgusting. And it's just like... My my biggest issue came in when I realized that this isn't new. This isn't Trouble's fault. Trouble did not cause this. Um, and I'm not here to shame him, blame him, or any of the women that I see doing this. This is a challenge that's been going on for years. Before social media is what it is today, the cucumber challenge has been around. I think it's disgusting. And I really think it's even more disgusting that people are recording themselves do this and putting on Instagram for what? For clout? For recognition? Do you want a man to notice you? That you can do this with your mouth and your face and your throat? I don't understand. You know what I mean? Like, fellatio, nothing's wrong with that. You do what you do behind closed doors. But again, again, the influence, y'all. The influence. And it's like, anything for clout? Anything? Oh gosh, and so we've had some celebrities come out and speak out against it. Regina Carter, which is interesting to me because Lucy was there last night at that party, while right when the girl was like going through it at the party. And you know, Regina had something to say not too long ago. I'm going to insert a clip there of that. And she also has something to say about you know just the morality of like. You have a child, you have a daughter. Would you want to see your little girl on Instagram sucking on a cucumber? Y'all. It's very degrading and it's not cute. And also, if you have a daughter, that shit is not cool. And honestly, the folks that's posting it and stuff like that, like, you gotta understand, if you got kids, your kids going to school, and trust me, them kids is addressing their kids about that, and it's not cool. Trust me, I grew up in this life, and everybody, everything that my parents did, my, my mama, my daddy did, it came back to me, and that's not It's really bad. And um, we also had Cash Doll. I'm gonna insert her clip here too. We we're supposed to have fun, you know, so that's when all the twerking come in, we cussing, we doing all this other crazy stuff, but it comes to a point, right? And I think we reached the limit with these cucumbers. I mean, seriously, first off, it's unsanitary. Second off, it's like y'all going in the fucking grocery store, sucking and spitting on cucumbers. And I don't never see none of you just eating vegetables on the regular. So don't start trying to go in there and suck on some now to impress a lot. <laughs> to impress some niggas that, I mean, really, for real, y'all, that's for everybody. Like, we got to keep it real cute. You know, we're queens. <laughs> As, I, as you can see <laughs> you don't know but all jokes aside you know let's keep it cute ladies keep it classy we got a lot of little young queens looking at us you know we already do enough on this including me so like that is taking it too far i don't think anybody has a moral high ground to shame anyone doing this however i think that we all still have space to give our opinion and my opinion is again it's disgusting <laughs> i keep saying it's disgusting this is a raw video y'all but this it's nasty it's nasty it's nasty and it's even more nasty because i saw a video of some girls in a grocery store pick up a cucumber and start sucking on it what the fuck what the hell i cannot believe that this you know what I take it back. I can't believe this. I can't believe this is a thing. And <sighs> yeah, yeah, man. I, I don't understand why people get so so surprised by this. But it's not something like me saying this isn't gonna change it. Me saying that it's not good, it's not cool, you know, keep it behind closed doors. Me saying all of this isn't going to change it, but I just had to bring this to my audience. Like, y'all know people are doing this? <laughs> and y'all know what I just saw? Like, it's ridiculous. And the fact that I'm seeing so many different influencers in these spaces with this activity happening. It just has me questioning everything. Everything. Not to mention 
Picking up a random cucumber is disgusting. And putting it in your mouth is even more disgusting. And then you're not purchasing it? You're not purchasing it? What is wrong with humanity? What is wrong with y'all? You go into the store. You pick up random produce that has not been cleaned, not washed. You put it in your mouth. You get your nasty germs on it on top of all the other nasty germs. And then you put it back. You put it back and not purchase it. Just for someone else to come and pick up your dirty ass licked on cucumber. I hate this man i hate this i hate that we are in this space in the world but that's where we are y'all so go ahead down below comment your thoughts i want to hear from you guys what do you guys think about this cucumber challenge is it morally wrong like it's just wrong or do you see where people could be like a little bit more lenient on the situation i really want to know because I don't want to shame anybody. I'm really not into the slut shaming. Like, you know what I mean? You saw my, if you saw my last video with the whole Bella Thorne issue, I'm not here for, you know, putting somebody down by their choices, especially on a sexual level, because we're all human beings and we all experiment. But, <laughs> y'all, like, there's a line. There's a line. I feel like we don't have any boundaries anymore as people. There's a fucking line. All right, y'all, so go ahead and comment down below. I'm out of here. Peace. Hey, Nandi here with some tips for these wild girls doing this dumbass challenge, showing the entire world how they slop down a cucumber. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to help you keep E. coli out of your throat. Tip number one, unless you want to tack a shoplifting charge onto the global humiliation and lifelong low self-esteem issues you're going to suffer as a result of doing this post, please make sure you purchase the cucumber. Do not walk in the store, lick the cucumber, and put it back on the shelf. Number one, that's freaking gross. Number two, it's illegal. If you lick it, you bought it. Also, FYI, this is a cucumber. This is a zucchini. And apparently that zucchini is having a problem with something that looks like poop. Which brings me to tip number two. Wash it. This might be a news flash for some of y'all, but produce is grown in fertilizer. You know what fertilizer is? It's poop, poop. And unless you want that poop in your mouth, you need to wash this cucumber. And I don't just mean wipe it off. I mean take some soap, water, and clean that sucker. Flesh-eating bacteria is real. Look it up. I'm going to tell you like I would tell my nieces, goddaughters, and any young women in my life who I love and whose future I care about. Stop doing this dumb shit. This is so stupid. What is wrong with you, girl? Sit your ass down somewhere. Your children are going to see this. You're doing this for some life. Your ancestors are watching you. <sighs> okay. But... You're not them and it's your life. So have at it. Do what you want. Just keep it clean. And remember, there's going to be consequences. You're welcome. You're nasty, but you're welcome.